Well, I was sitting on the bus, and we just got left town of Brendan, and we were watching Zorro, and next thing I know, I hear somebody scream, and I look back, and there's some big guy holding this little fella up against, like, between the bathroom door and the seat, and we, he was moving. It kind of looked like a fight, but somebody said a knife, so we all run off the bus. He was getting stabbed. So I'm making sure everybody's okay right outside, and these other guys are containing the door. Then they went back on the bus and come off the bus and told everybody to get back because they thought he was coming out. His hand come out the door with the knife, looked like it was trying to cut their... He went back on the bus, and then they braced the door, and he come back. Uh, standing in the doorway was the head, looked at him, dropped the head, went back and started cutting Buddy back up, right? So I'm at, I, they make us leave and go up by the tractor trailer, and I'm standing by the tractor trailer, and this starting to get dark, and the cops are there, and uh, he, he comes up and he picks the head up, and he's waving it in the window. I just smoked a cigarette with this man earlier, right? The, the head. And he's shaking it back and forth at the window, and it's really intense, right? It's sickening, and I was just making sure. I wasn't worried about myself at the time. I was just worried about everybody else being okay, right? So you'd smoked a cigarette with the victim. Yeah. Tell me about him. What was well, he like? I, I never really took the time to get to know him, but he seemed to be okay, right? Just a kid. Like, how old would you figure? Between 18 and 22, but he didn't look that old. And he'd gotten on the bus in Brandon? No, uh, I do believe he got on in Edmonton. Okay. And uh, uh, was he uh, uh, a quiet yeah. fella? Well, he seemed to be all right. He was, he liked to talk, I guess, but I really didn't take the time to get to know him in a rush, right? What'd you talk about? I don't know, just how the day was. <laughs> I'm not really sure. You've seen something that I don't think a handful of people in the whole world has seen. Tell me... Tell me what it's like to see a, a, a man who's just killed somebody holding up the human's head. That's disturbing. <laughs> I laid down in bed that night tonight at about 4 o'clock, thought I'd go to sleep for an hour because I've been up just stressing, right, making sure everybody's all right. And uh, I closed my eyes, and I seen him in the window there just like a madman. He, I couldn't see really what his face looked like, but he was wearing a black shirt, and he was a tank, right? holding his head up in the window, like he's right in his right mind taunting the cops with it. I was like, oh, yeah, really? But it was just disturbing. I, and there's children and old ladies, like older senior citizens and stuff that was on that bus. I'm not worried about myself. i got to worry about them, right? And, and the police uh, showed up fairly quickly? Uh, yeah, they were, they were pretty quick. I'm not sure how long, 15, 20 minutes maybe, but that's quite a little hike away. That's, half, that's an hour road to town. I'm not really sure how long it was, but long, they got there quicker than what I thought they'd be there. What are you, what are you feeling right now? What, what, I mean, this is a few hours now, and you've had a time to get a coffee, and you can't be relaxed, but how are you feeling? Sad for the family of the young father. I feel sad for the people that's in here because not very many people ever see somebody be decapitated, right? or experience what we've experienced because we were just going home and going to a vacation or whatever and somebody got murdered on our bus that we could have probably talked to and not know it, right? Carried, who, what if we sat next to him? 